Hey David, this is Will Sullivan with Sullivan Auto Trading. I'm going to do a quick walk around on this vehicle and, uh, and kind of point out any of the imperfections that I see. Um, you know, like we had spoke about on the phone, I'd rather over describe anything than under describe it. Um, so, um, you know, I hope that my, my harsh description of this truck doesn't disqualify it because I'll just tell you just from walking it real quick. Uh, it's a very, very clean and very nice truck. Um, starting from the front, uh, it does have some pollen on it. So, uh, as you can see, a lot of our cars aren't showing very well just because of the amount of pollen in the air right now. But um, no major scratches or dents that I see on the front part of this hood. I did notice a small, let me see if I can get the pollen on it, light scratch right there. And it actually shows up, appears to show up worse on the phone than it does in person. But um, if you decide you want to come in and see that, I'll have uh, my guys touch that up. It'll kind of make it disappear as you you step back here you can still kind of see it uh, with this high definition camera but um, anyway starting from the front um, this piece of plastic right here looks like somebody pulled up to something and it has a gouge in it right here uh, the other one doesn't have that it's super clean um, the tow hooks look like they're in good shape uh, no issues there real light scratching on that tow hook right there we might probably just have our guy touch that up too um, but moving over to the front fender, oh, headlight housings are in great shape. Uh, this is a big thing for me. <laughs> I can't stand when headlight housings get foggy and hazy. Um, and this one does not have any of that hazing or anything going on. It looks like they're, um, now that I'm in this lighting, has a little bit of a scuff right there on the bumper um, as well. That might actually come off with some lack of remover. But um, moving over to the tire, uh, looking at the tread depth, you're probably at about uh, six thirty seconds of an inch tire uh, tread depth wheel looks like it's in pretty good condition light curb rashing and I don't even know if that's curb rashing that's not um, that is from previous wheel weights uh, that have been on there and what happens is they oxidize around there um, and then you can see it does the same thing in this crevice right here from where they're clamped on right here uh, right here you can just see that's the exact shape of a wheel weight so as you can see a wheel right right here so that's what happens when they sit on there unfortunately um, but none of that app really pops out but you do have some um, light oxidation around the clear on these wheels um, looking inside the fender well here i'll just tell you this is not a rusty truck at all we do do a finishing uh, undercoat on every vehicle whether it's a honda civic or a pickup truck when it comes into our dealership uh, everything gets an undercoat just because of the saltwater brine that they're using on the roads up here. But let me see if I can get my camera in here a little bit so you can see there's just, there's no rust on that frame at all. Um, light, you know, some of that light drip rust, as you can see, comes through that porthole. But, um, you know, this is uh, definitely a clean vehicle underneath. Uh, moving from this fender to the driver's side door, looks really, really clean. Um, really light scratch right there, which could also be touched up. And uh, moving to the pass or the uh, driver's side uh, rear door um, also looks very good. Uh, you know, some some light brush scratching in through here. Um, a lot of these light scratches could probably be wet sanded out. Um, you know, if you ever want to just take some time and buffer wet sand it. But you know, with black, I have a black suburban myself. Uh, everything shows, unfortunately, on these. Um, the bed is in good shape. Uh, looking at the cab corners while I'm back here, uh, no rust at all. Let's go ahead and get a shot of that frame right there. You can see just super clean. Um, that bolt, of course, has some rust around it, some of these clamps, but uh, that's expected and very acceptable. Um, but you, know, you can just take a look at that frame, just super clean. You know, stuff that's made of solid steel like that is going to have a little bit of light surface. But even looking at the pinch welds along this bed, you know, they're not corroded or anything. Um, it actually shows up. That brownish tint you see there is actually the overspray from the undercoat. It's not rust. So uh, just backing out, leaf springs look like they're in good shape. <clears throat> the quarter panel or uh, bedside of this vehicle is in good shape. Um, some, you know, through and through, just some real light, real light uh, brush scratching. Um, which is okay. Going back to the rear of this truck, hitch is in good shape. Not rusted out at all. Let's see if we can get an underneath shot from the back. Looks very good. Pumpkin doesn't look like it's corroded. Tailgate looks good. 
bed of the truck. It's in good shape. Has a drop-in bed mm -hmm. liner. Tail lights are in good shape. No cracks or major scratching there. And then looking at this uh, quarter panel or bedside, also in really good condition. And you know, all of these wheels are consistent with that oxidation. Very common issue with these Fords. Men don't find too many that don't have that right there. Um, whether they're from Florida or where they're from the North Pole, it doesn't matter. They just, they all kind of get that. Um, the passenger side rear door looks pretty good. Uh, I don't see anything that jumps out at me. And uh, so does the passenger side door. I do see a spot that's been previously touched up right there. Um, let see if I can get better lighting. I already lost it. Oh, there it is. So it's got a little bit of a touch up there, um, which probably could be cleaned up around here just so it sits in the crevice there. So it's less noticeable. And then the fender of this vehicle looks real good. We'll just take a peek underneath on here so you can see that frame. See that upper control arm, springs, that sort of thing. That frame right there. But looks pretty good. Overall, this exterior, this, this is a pickup truck and a 2014 model at that. You know, I think this vehicle is in very good condition. I'm pretty picky with my vehicle. So, you know, for a dark vehicle of this age and being a pickup truck, because they are used as trucks, I'd say it's in pretty good condition. Um, cracking the door, uh, this I think is by far the, uh, the best part of this truck. When you look at the interior condition of this. Light bolster wear, as you have with trucks of this size, where you have to actually stand up and slide your body across that bolster. They just tend to wear a little bit. Um, so you have do have memory seats in this uh, two options do you have the console slash third seat option so it is a six passenger truck and then you can just see the condition of the cluster not scraped up the um, control panel the screen not scraped up carpets are in great condition this is not a smoker just very, very clean. I mean, for a pickup truck, I say for a pickup truck, that kind of um, makes it sound like, <laughs> I'm, uh, I don't know what I'm really trying to say there. Just, it's super clean. I mean, you can just see the condition overall in the back seats. They look like they were rarely ever sat in. So no child seats indentions uh, or, you know, dug into that. Let's see if I can lift this seat up for you so you can see underneath and just see how clean that carpet is. And I'll go ahead and wrap this up by giving you a shot of the engine bay. Um, you can kind of see the inside. I see this a lot where, um, for some reason, for whatever reason, because of the way things drain, northern trucks tend to have those bolts seem to just be pitted and rusted really bad, and that's super clean in there. As I'm popping this uh, this hood right here, I noticed this too. It's the only spot on this uh, whole foil wrapping here that has this, but little bubble right there. Uh, a heat gun might take care of that, but uh, that is there. And then underneath this hood is super clean. Impressive. So I'll wrap this video up by saying, you know, would I buy this truck for myself? Um, I would. Uh, this is a super clean vehicle. Definitely worth the trip down here to come look at it. And I hope this video showed you all of the stuff that you may wanted to see that you couldn't see in the pictures. You can call me anytime you want at 703-926-8834 to schedule a test drive. Thanks a lot.